Hey everyone, Difference Maker here, and this is going to be a quick video talking about my thoughts on the mid-chapter patch. Anyway, let's get started. The clown was buffed in this update with a new bottle, the Afterpiece Antidote, which basically makes it so that if you touch the gas, it speeds you up. Honestly, I'm pretty mixed on this update because even though I like how they're trying to buff the clown, it didn't really do anything to him. All it did was just give him shorter reload and give him just another bottle, but it didn't do anything. Like, I don't feel encouraged to use his antidotes. They're not really that good. The only good thing about this buff was his shorter reload. That's it. That's the only good thing they did about him. The rest, not very good. Overall, clown is just still the same. His antidotes are not good enough to be used more. Next up is the Wraith. The Wraith was buffed to where you cannot see his shimmer anymore when he's 20 meters away, and they increased his speed boost when he uncloaks to 1.25 seconds, which is a very good buff. I really liked it, but I really wish Windstorm was actually built into his base kit. Then Trapper, they just changed his escape odds to be more consistent. Now, we get to the main reason why this patch was so infamous. This patch is so controversial. Let's get to it. The new UI. This UI sucks so much. Everyone has bashed it. They hated it. But what makes it more controversial was the dev's decision. They pretty much just said, fuck all of you. They didn't even change the HUD from the PTB. Now, I do know that they did announce that they are going to make some adjustments. But the fact that they made a new HUD. They said that we changed it to add new stuff to it, and now everyone flat out hates it, and you don't even remove it. It's just so bad for business. And not only that, though, this HUD is awful for many reasons. One, why the fuck did this need to get changed? Did anyone ask for this, honestly? Like, I'm being dead serious. Who asked for this HUD to get changed? No one fucking asked for this. And not only that, it's too spread out. Like, the old HUD was so simple. You look in the bottom left, and you're done. Because this game is so fast-paced, you have to be constantly moving. You have to focus on who's alive, how many gens are left. But it's so spread out, you have to put your eyes all over the screen just to see what you're doing. With the old HUD, you look one direction, and you're done. Here, you have to look up, left, right. It's too scattered. Like, why scatter the fucking things all over the place? It's stupid. And then the survivor animations got changed, and not only that, it fucked up the hitboxes very bad, because in this footage, there are some times where I swung at the survivor, and my weapon went right through them, but then on the survivor side, they get hit from like a mile away. It's like the animations really fucked up the hitboxes. And not only that, there are some maps where you can't even go through some areas, like Auto Haven Wreckers, the bus specifically, there's a spot where the killer cannot pass through the bus, and yet the survivor can get in there, and the killer can't get through. It's a stupid exploit. I don't know how that got past testing. And then, on the disturbed ward, you can go through the walls in the garden, which I didn't get the map, but I've seen it. It's fucking priceless how it took four weeks for this update to come out, and they couldn't see that. That's surprising. I am just so shocked about this update. There's so much negativity in this update that I'm surprised they took four weeks to do this, and yet it's still bad. I am so shocked. Overall, is this update even worse than the Twins update? Well, not really. The Twins update was very bad. This update, at first I thought it was great because I didn't run into any bugs my first time, but after seeing all the gameplay footage of other people... I can't believe this honestly. Overall, this had to be one of the worst mid-chapters ever. The clown rework or buff is not very good. The UI sucks. The hitboxes are fucked up. There's so many exploits. And overall, this update is just flat out terrible. Just awful. Let's hope that the devs will actually fix the UI and make it better. Let's hope they can make it better and... They really got to redeem themselves because they lost a lot of players and people are now protesting the game by not spending money and not playing the game until they fix the UI, which is very shocking about this. Let's hope the next chapter 
will redeem themselves. They gotta redeem themselves with the next chapter. If not, this game is going down the shitter. Anyway, this was my quick video about why this update was not very good. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Press the silver bell for notifications on my next video. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.